of the, the Foreign Policy Initiative, which is uh, hosting tonight's uh, discussion on 10 years later, how 9-11 influenced a generation and U.S. foreign policy. What we got right in the war on terror, I think, can be divided in some sense in, in two different categories. First, there's the sort of intellectual accomplishments, and then there are the actual uh, kinetic policies that, that were put in place as a result of those. Uh, I would argue that something else we got right is the war in Iraq, is the centrality of Iraq to the war on terror. I will be arguing this apparently for the rest of my days. I am going to attempt to slightly disentangle uh, that masterful synthesis in the interest of making a case half in support of Abe and uh, uh, half in dissent. Um, and the disentanglement I'm going to attempt, and uh, I think he's absolutely right that it's not completely possible to disentangle all these elements, but, but I think it is worth stepping back and looking at America's response to 9-11, our policy response from a sort of twofold perspective, um, and disentangling what you might call the literal war on terrorists, which we've been engaged in um, pretty much steadily for, for the past 10 years, and which has continued um, in certain ways in, in an accelerated fashion under the Obama administration. More intellectual than visceral. I mean, obviously, the argument from genocide is a visceral argument for the Iraqi people, but for Right. For Americans, I, I just I guess I'm I'm right. skeptical of the counterfactual where Paul Wolfowitz's argument is the argument that's made in public, and then the public doesn't just support the war but sort of su supports the, a sustained war effort. Right. My, my suspicion is at that time during that snapshot in in modern American history, yeah, I think I think the war would have been supported without that without the WMD argument for how long. Not as long as with it, and, as, and, and if there turned out to be WMD there. But again, in terms of sort of, I, I just come back to sort of, you know, you, you judge policies on their fruits, and right now I'm very nervous about the fruits of um, sort of democratic transformation in the Middle East. We had no diplomatic contact with them, and then suddenly we woke up 10 years later to find this extensive terror network there, uh, and, and, and this brilliant attack planned and launched out of there. Uh, abandoning yet another generation to, to the despots and the theocrats of the region, that 9-11 generation, we, we abandon uh, at, at our own risk. Um, but please join me in thanking our panelists.